What is your view on having sex as a Buddhist? Are you, for example, allowed to have multiple sexual relationships? I put the emphasis wrong. I'm not allowed to have any sexual relationships, but are you means in general, right? Um, so, in general, a lay person, it, put it in general, because sensual desire is, is evil. It's an evil. No, this is Buddhist word evil. No, Because the meaning of the word evil is something that is going to lead you to suffer. Now, the key Buddhist, the core of Buddhism is that desire leads you to suffer. You know, uh, wanting something leads you to try to get it. When you try to get it, it, it creates, it changes your life. You, know? you want to get something, so you have to work for it, and that changes your whole universe in some small way. And that's going to create more stress. It's going to create more uh, dissatisfaction and, and suffering. So undeniably, it's a, a bad thing. But the question is, how bad? Is it really going to get in the way of your meditation practice? No, probably not. Excessive uh, sex or or, sex, or multiple sexual relationships can get in you. You know, whether it's with one person or with many people. In fact, many people would be more deleterious for your practice. It's not a horrible thing in Buddhism to have multiple sexual relationships. The problem comes where you are deceiving people. This is where real bad. This is this is where it gets really bad, and where it gets really where you might really start to say this is evil. It's really evil when you start deceiving people, and that's where it really cuts your practice and starts heading you in the in the opposite direction. It doesn't just slow you down; it starts heading you in the in the wrong direction when you're having when you're sleeping around when you have a monogamous relationship and are committed to it and then are cheating on that person. Or someone else is in a monogamous relationship and you're uh, sleeping with them. Um, this kind of thing, this is where it really gets trouble. If you're in a polygamous relationship, this is not um, a corrupt evil in Buddhism. And, you know, really, I don't know. Uh, I've thought about this a lot and you look at it, it's um, it's really, really would never was seen as such, and I don't know where it became, but it kind of this, maybe even Protestantism that 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 turned it into such a horrible thing, to uh, have a polygamous relationship. Um, you know, if anything, it's it seems to be what God designed us for, right? One man, many women. Right? Look at look in nature. It's general. It's not always, but. You know, with with monkeys, for example, chimpanzees, it's very uh, very common to see polygamous relationships, right? We see it all the time in the forest. One big monkey, and he's going around. He's got all these women. They don't, you know. So the problem doesn't isn't that it's it's a matter of it's in a category of its own. It's not in a category. It's just fairly extreme. The more sex and the more diverse sex you have the more it's going to get in the way of your practice. It hasn't crossed the line of being uh, immoral in the sense of leading you backwards yet. It's not leading you in the wrong... It is, but it, it can still be, be uh, worked out through meditation. If you start cheating on people, if you start lying and, and deceiving people, breaking up relationships, that makes your meditation very, very difficult in a very different way. So that's categorically different. But that this this has to be understood, um, but it has to also be understood. I don't want you to say that oh, polygamy is fine, go for it. It's it's really going to get in your way, and it's going to make you, you know, sex in general. But but for sure, promiscuity and and polygamy will for sure drive you crazy. You know, your mind will become more, more and more and more attached to it. The best thing is to give it up and start looking at the sexual desire. Give it up. Be celibate and start looking at the celibate, looking at the desire. If you man happen to break your celibacy, just don't become a monk yet, but start looking at it. You know, try to be celibate for a while, see what happens. Watch the sexual urges and really learn about them. Take it as a laboratory experiment. It's much more conducive. There's no reason to be promiscuous. There's no reason to be polygamous. It doesn't do you any good. It doesn't make you more happy. What good is it? It's, it, it just makes you less satisfied. 
It doesn't make you a better person. It doesn't make you a happier person. It doesn't make you more content. What good is it? Better to go the other direction. <laughs>